good morning everybody as you can see we are on the move I say good morning but it's afternoon we waited until noon checkout time to leave the hotel had a relaxing morning stuffed myself with more food and yeah we're just getting going and the hottest part of the day as always but we're ready to cross the bridge of the gods here and cross right into Washington and we will be on the last state it's very exciting can't believe it like a little over 500 miles left at the most I mean with the fires it could be less than that had a good couple days in Cascade Locks I'll tell you what between these this zero and um, trail days we spent a lot of time in this little town that doesn't really have a whole lot new shoes are feeling good already had to upsize they didn't have the 12 and a half that I've been getting so I had to get a 13 but they seem to be all right I'm trying to hike without the shims under the insoles because ever since I had those adjustments made I've had some other foot issues that I've had haven't had before so I'm gonna see what happens if I hike without them again if this uh, if this issue goes away I've got a little bit of like tingling in the tip of one of my toes and I don't know some pain behind like the joint on the same toe so it's not great it's been going on for like a week two weeks probably two weeks now so I don't know hopefully all this shit resolves after I get home and it's nothing too serious but it still sucks having to deal with it out here but now I see a big PCT sign hanging from the pole right there and this is the beginning of the Bridge of the Gods. Out there in the distance, that's where the, all the camping was for the trail days. Pretty cool to see it from over here. It's official we are in Washington the last state of the PCT and that is a crazy feeling can't believe it I'm excited to see what the state has to offer I'm excited for these last 500 miles and I know that it's gonna fly by just like every other section of this trail is flown by but 500 is still a good amount of miles left we got a couple more weeks out here at least and we're ready to get her done I thought that that bridge was gonna have like a walking path or something on it, but it didn't. We were like just sharing the bridge with cars going in both directions. It was very hard to try to take photos or videos. You kind of had to jump out in the middle of the road in between vehicles and try to do the best you can, but it proved to be more difficult than I was expecting. Coming out here, we have a very big climb, of course. Our packs are full of fucking eight days of food or whatever and we have to gain like 4,000 feet of elevation I don't even know how many miles of up it is off the check but I'll let y'all know about that in a little bit just laid here by this water source and took a nap probably there for at least an hour just not feeling it today that climb that we're doing is it's like 4,000 foot of elevation gain and it's over 10 miles I think I've only done like three and a half or four so far today 
already 3.30. That's all right. Who gives a rat's ass? Stop back there. Had some ramen for a very late lunch or first dinner, we could call it. And then I started soaking second dinner, which I'll have whenever we get to camp, wherever that will be. I grabbed the water that I'm gonna need for the rest of today and tonight. It's about a 12 mile stretch with no water. So I've got about three liters going. Still slowly making our way up this climb. I think we've got maybe another four miles to the top. And then we can finally start dropping down. But we're starting to get into late afternoon, early evening here. I don't know how much farther we're going to go for the day. But I think we at least want to get this climb over with. I've been bouncing back and forth with Cece. She's not feeling too well today. Chap has been ahead most of the day. I haven't really seen him much in the last few hours. I imagine we'll just try to get to wherever he stops, but I'm not sure how far that is. I'm sure he didn't stop and take a hour long nap like I did. <laughs> I'm about 0.3 from the campsite. I texted with Chap. He said that there's plenty of room there. I think he's the only one there at that campsite. So it should be good. It's nice to be done with that climb. We're on our way down now, down the backside, but uh, that was a tough one. Coming out of town with all that food on our back, like going up 4,000 feet and however many miles, it was just a very long day. We're only going to end with doing like 11, 12 miles or something, but who cares? Journey's dwindling down. We can slow down a little bit, I think, without feeling too bad. Like I said earlier, um, CC's got some cold symptoms going on, not feeling too hot. And I got to be honest, my throat's feeling a little scratchy. I don't know if it's in my head because I know that she's definitely getting sick, but... Uh, I hope I'm not coming down with something as well. I, uh, I'm definitely a big baby when I'm sick and I do not want to be trying to push miles with a bad cold or something like that. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. The sky looks really beautiful right now. The camera doesn't do it justice, of course. It's a lot more pink than what it probably appears to be for you. But it looks like we're about to walk into this dark forest here so I'll probably talk to you in a bit after I get camp set up all right y'all I'm here tent set up and it's a nice spot chaps the only one here there's a bunch of little tent sites are all pretty flat nice ground good setup I'll have to show you in the morning it's dark obviously so I am just gonna eat probably a few snacks and then get to bed um, Chaps all fucking congested and snotting up a storm and shit too, so we all gonna be sick and it's gonna suck. Or maybe not, maybe we'll all wake up tomorrow and be fine. That would be preferable, but we'll see. Anyway, not a big day today, but big day in the sense that we started Washington and uh, had a big ass climb, but I don't know, 11 miles or so probably is what we did. And hopefully we're able to get a bigger day in tomorrow. But we'll see how everyone feels. Hopefully get some good sleep. And I'll see you all in the morning. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.